Hello all, my name is Krishna. I come welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, we are going to continue the feature selection playlist. Already I had uploaded two videos on feature selection playlist that is regarding how to drop a constant features using variance threshold. And then we had also seen how to drop features using Pearson correlation. Now there are various steps in feature selection guys and probably it will be taking me two weeks to actually upload all the videos. So this particular playlist, please make sure that again, I'll be providing the link in the description. You have to revise and before going ahead, with respect to today's video guys today video topic is all about information gain you know information gain which is also called as mutual information in classification and by using this particular topic that is mutual information we are going to select the features and we'll also see what are the advantages of mutual uh, information and uh, uh, how it is basically beneficial for us if you are trying to use this particular technique now remember one thing guys before going ahead you really need to get your basics clear with respect to all the statistical test like here we i have already explained you about the statistical test right so this was a statistical test that i wanted to explain i have already explained in my complete machine learning playlist that is about p value t test chi square test and what is because many people usually ask me krish what is the main importance of the statistical test now you will be able to understand this guys this statistical test will be used in feature selection right now we will be understanding mutual information later on we'll be seeing univariate analysis where we'll be studying about chi square test about ANOVA test and all and there you'll be able to understand it and remember while using this chi square, chi -square test we'll also be using this p values which will be very very much important so what i'm going to do is that uh, i'm going to also give you this link over here in the description in in this particular notebook remember four videos that you have to see and today since we are doing mutual information right mutual information which is again a part of information gain i hope you have heard about information gain in decision trees right so that links videos also also have i have put over here you need to understand entropy information gain because the same formulas will also get applied while you are learning this mutual information and you are trying to perform the feature selection so here are the links and again that's links has been added in the notebook itself okay so let's understand what exactly is mutual information so i have just written it as in a short form like mi mi estimate mutual information for a discrete target variable now what do you mean by a discrete target variable remember guys suppose your output is a is a it has a fixed set of categories you know just like a classification problem statement at that time you could definitely use mutual information uh, and this this name that you'll be seeing the mutual information in classification for similarly for regression problem statement you have something else right mutual information in regression you have something else for that and probably that will be the next video that i'll try to upload so here you it says that mutual information between two random variable is a non-negative value which measures the dependencies between the variables it is equal to zero if and only if two random variables are independent and higher values means higher dependencies remember guys whenever you try to perform any kind of steps in feature selection you are basically comparing all the independent features you are basically trying to find out the relationship between all the independent features and the dependent feature itself so if you are trying to find this particular relation suppose there are three features with respect to f1 and the target variable if you are trying to find out the independence uh, or what 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 is the relation between them and with the help of mutual information if you find it as zero then those features that is your target feature and your f1 feature are independent otherwise if it is having an higher values if those particular relation or uh, has a higher values at that time you will be able to see that there will be a higher dependency now how this particular mutual information is basically calculated it is based on entropy estimation i hope you have heard about entropy in your decision trees so that entropy estimation only will be used okay and this all i have actually taken it from this particular scalon page i've just copied it from here and pasted it over there so that you will be able to find it out clearly over here itself now let's see how the mutual information between two random variables x and y can be stated formally okay and remember guys usually whenever you are for solving any machine learning problem statement the second most important step is feature selection after feature engineering you do feature selection in feature selection you try to compare your independent features with respect to your dependent feature and at that point of time you apply this kind of statistical test like chi square uh, ANOVA test mutual information test and again there are also some dependencies considering that if your 
target uh, if your target output feature is continuous values or it is a category of values i'll be showing you a lot of examples with respect to that so over here the mutual information between two random variable x and y can be stated formally as this is basically the formula so here you can see that this is basically called as information of x with respect to y this you are trying to find out the information the mutual information between two random variables x and y is equal to h of x this h of x is basically the entropy of x entropy of this particular feature minus entropy of this particular feature with respect to y we also say this as conditional entropy of x given y okay the result has the unit of bits usually we get in the form of bits the bits value will be between 0 to 1 obviously you know this so i'm telling you revise all these particular concepts it will be very very helpful for you okay so i have given the link so let's try to see an example and let's try to see how we can perform this mutual class information in classification which is again a kind of information gain to do the specific feature selection okay and again you remember this particular formula based on this particular formula which will be having the highest value you will probably be considering that thing having the highest uh, uh, dependency because here it says right if it is equal to zero uh, then the two random variables the two random variables basically means the independent feature and the target feature may be independent if they are having a higher value that basically means they are dependent on each other okay so let's go first of all i'm going to import pandas as pd simple over here then the next thing is that I am actually taking this wine.csv data set. The reason why I have taken this particular data set because this data set has many number of features. Okay, and this is your classification problem. Remember, this gets applied to a classification problem. Okay, mutual information in classification. For classification, we have a different library. For regression, we have a different library with respect to mutual information. So let's continue this. I'll execute this. Now let's see, just to verify how many types of values are there, how many unique values are there. I can see that in DF of Y, only three categories are there, right? One, two, three. Then I also try to check whether all the values are integers or not. This is just like a pre-processing we have to do guys because uh, some of the values may become object, may be present in the form of strings and all. And if it is present, we should try to, if it is, if there are some categories also, we should try to do some encoding techniques and convert into some integer values. And I hope that I have already shown in feature engineering. Now, the next step after this is that one very important step is that we should always perform ten train test split this should always be as a habit guys this is basically to overcome or to avoid overfitting okay so i'm just going to write to avoid overfitting so basically to avoid overfitting we have to do this particular train test split so for that i am basically using from sklearn.model selection import train test split and this are your features x train x test y train y test and we are doing this test. this is my independent features and this is my dependent feature okay so here i'll execute it the text size is basically 0.3 so if you go and see your x train dot head okay so this is your value you don't have the uh, last feature which I have was actually using which is called as wine right this wine feature was having your categories of wine one two or three right now after this what we do is that now we are going to see how we perform feature selection with the help of mutual info classification okay this is the library that we'll be using specifically for a classification problem and this is present inside feature selection so this will determine the mutual information by using the same formula which I have actually given over here right so this is the formula and remember this particular value wherever we see h it is basically calling as entropy okay so here all you have to do is that you basically have to apply mutual inflow classification on x train and y train okay if you have any null values you have to handle that before only guys if you're keeping the null values like that it will definitely give you an error now remember one very important properties as soon as i do this because see mutual info is just an object i've created over here on x train and y train we are just doing it and we are just trying to find out the information gain now when i apply this one very important property of mutual info classification is that you will never get a negative value you'll either get zero or you'll be getting a positive number within one okay and if you are getting a very very high number that basically means that particular feature is the best feature or is the most dependent feature 
or you can say the dependency on the target variable is too much okay so here whichever is having the highest value that is the most important feature now in this particular case you can see that the highest value is 0.711 we'll try to understand which feature is this because there are so many features out of there right so in order to do this what i'm going to do first of all i'm converting this into series okay by using mutual underscore info and then uh, so here you can see that this entire array is basically getting converted into series by using pd dot series and then i'm actually using x underscore train dot columns so whatever columns are there i'm going to take that and i'm going to assign it to as index okay so this will basically be assigned as an index and after that i'm using this particular value and sorting this value with ascending is equal to false that basically means i'll be getting the highest value uh, with respect to the mi that is mutual information till the lowest value now once i execute it guys here you will be able to see that flavonoids is saying that it is basically saying that flavonoids has the highest dependency on the target feature that is wine so here you are having the value as 0.7116 similarly you can consider all the values and here you will be seeing in the decreasing order now it is not necessary that you always have to take all the features uh, when you are performing the feature selection you can take the top 10 features top 20 features and again you have to first of all do an analysis like how many number of features you may probably be requiring right now based on that here you can see that based on the mutual information uh, what i'll do is that i'll plan to take the top 10 feature in order to take the top 10 feature what i will do is that i'll be using an another library which i'll just show you after this particular line of code now here we are trying to plot this entire mutual information that is given with respect to this particular uh, features with by using sort values ascending is equal to false see this entire thing we are just taken over here and we are plotting by using dot plot dot bar so that we'll be able to see the bar and it will be showing from dec increasing to decreasing order so once i execute this here you'll be able to see this is my plot that is created and here you can see that flavonoids are having somewhere on 0.71 so this is the highest and here you can see that it is decreasing right and as i said that from this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 i will try to pick up the top 10 features which are the most important features for this particular problem statement so what i'll do is that i'll just write from scale on dot feature selection and we have to use something called a select k best if you are using select k best that basically means we are trying to just pick up the top 10 features or top 20 features whatever the k value you will provide there is also another way to basically pick up percentiles of features you can say that pick up the top 10 percentile of the features pick up the top 20 percentile of the features so what i will do is that i'll try to show you this particular example in the regression problem which will be my next video right now we are just doing classification uh, example example will select uh, k best in the later video i'll show you how to select with the help of percentiles also so here we will execute this and now here you can see this i'm selecting the five columns so okay i have given just a k is equal to five you can also give 10 columns so here i'm using select k best the same mutual info classifier where i had actually initialized this let's see where i have initialized mutual info classifier here we have basically selected this and then we are basically um, providing k is equal to 5 that basically means that i just want the top uh, 5 important features after this i am using dot fit on x train and y train i don't have to do this because i don't have any null values if you had some null values you could have probably written as zero or some other techniques some pre-processing techniques which i'm not focusing right now because in the feature engineering we have already completed it so x train or y train and then finally i'm picking up all the column names and getting the get support uh, get support basically gives us the indexes and based on that whatever index is there i'm just picking up the columns so once i execute this here you'll be seeing flavonoids color dot int hui od proline so i think till proline we have got all the important features and these are the top five important features and what you can also do is that you can select 10 features also 15 features or 20 features now you can select this particular feature do your machine learning model do the creation do the hyperparameter tuning and try to perform it okay now one basic difference uh, dif difference between information gain and mutual information because here sometimes people also gets confused what is the basic difference between information and mutual information so here you can see that suppose this is my formula for mutual information and this is the formula for information gain it almost looks same s over here basically says kind of sample you can just check out my decision tree example these are almost same uh, 
As such, mutual information is sometimes used as a synonym for information gain. Technically, they calculate the same quantity if applied to the same data. So almost both are same. And you can also use this link to con compare a univariate and the mutual information, you know, how does mutual information work? Now just see this guys, with respect to correlation, if I take correlation as an example, or uh, let's take this F test, we'll also discuss about F test over here. Now with respect to this kind of data, you can see that F test uh, easily captures, uh, you know, see, see, see the example over here, as F test captures only linear dependencies, it it rates x1 as the most discriminative feature that basically means that this value that it is seeing right it is 1.0 1.0 basically means as the x1 increases the y is probably also increasing but here mutual information is basically giving you the very good value okay and f test it is just saying that okay it is linearly increasing right it is clearly saying like that based on the formula that is applied and f test is a kind of univariate analysis over here in the second case here you can see that f test is basically giving 0.28 Okay, and in, in the third scenario, both F test and MI are performing well. Now see this, we'll read this particular sentence. As F test captures only linear dependency, it raised X1 as the most discriminative feature. On the other hand, mutual information can capture any kind of dependencies within the variable and it rates X2 as the most discriminative feature. Now here you can see the data is completely zigzagged. Okay, data is completely zigzagged and it is able to kind uh, basically mutual information will be able to uh, capture the kind of variance or dependency uh, uh, dependency with respect to your x and y variable okay which probably agrees better with our uh, initial uh, intuitive perception for this both methods correctly marks x3 as relevant so here mi is able to pick out more information when compared to the other tests over here that is what this particular comparison is basically showing and here is the code you can also check this out and we'll check out all these things uh, as we go ahead but this was just an example to showcase to you like how feature selection usually works i'm just going to write it over here as tutorial 3 so that you'll be able to refer this notebook and it will be helpful for you right so i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe the channel and yes guys uh, mutual information is a very good technique of doing feature selection there you are also able to find out some more information just try to go through this entire notebook you'll be able to find out more information and yes i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one doll bye bye